Okay, good evening everybody. This is uh, Monday seminar number 17 of the ongoing and exceptional McLuhan on Maui uh, conference and uh, set the show in motion. Uh, in the annotations you see him exegeting different lines. He even notates the part about him, page 254, where it's Mirshal McLuhan and it's a description accidentally by default or the channeling of language itself. It's an exact description, has the word extensions in it, and he has beside that me. And then he says, moon child. McMuhan becomes moon child. He was a July, I guess, and astrologically a moon child. He knew that that, re that language spoke him. Now, there's an, another thing. In a, there's a huge section at the end of Finney's Wake in around page 500, many pages of a seance. And it's in this seance that they find out who HCE is. They finally get to the bottom of it all, supposedly. But the interesting thing is the seance is conducted by a uh, star chamber or a brain trust of the sort you'd get in the 30s, once you had the welfare state societies in the uh, FDR cabinet. You know, this brain trust, these, these John Galbraiths and, uh, and Peter Drucker characters are the uh, interrogators and, and get to the bottom of AC and they use mediumship. And there's lots of talk about how it's on the radio. Joyce was also saying this mediumship thing is happening when you're watching the radio or engaging with radio. Do you, do you know about this, Scott? Um, yeah, I know something about it. Um, Mc, McLuhan uh, thought that Finnegan's Wake was also a kind of an answer or a dialogue uh, with Aristotle in terms of Aristotle's ten predicaments or complications. And the predicaments are all about what can be said. So it's all about pronouncement, enunciation, uh, language, phenomenology, and that sort of thing. So physics actually uh, relate to what can be said, the physical world, whereas metaphysics are what cannot be said, or the spiritual world. So uh, Joyce is being involved with discussing what can be said. So the ten predicaments are uh, substance, quality, quantity, relation, place, time, position, possession, activity, and passivity. And those work with the ten thunders and the ten uh, parts of uh, Finnegan's way. So the first uh, five is the dissolution of the universe of discourse. Uh, and the second uh, is the reintegration at electronic speed. Let me just interrupt. Are you, have you read Eric's PhD on Finnegan's way? No. But he lays out the first five thunders is, is the fragmentation, and the second five thunders is, is agreeing with you, but he thinks TV is the reintegration of the word. Is that what you're getting at? Well, uh, McLuhan aligns the television with passivity. So what happens is that the reintegration, you know, is actually a, a deadening kind of effect. The physical uh, comes to the end or to the conclusion, and, uh, and so there's a, a, a bit of a problem there. Okay, you, you know that McLuhan said that those that think that viewers of television are in a passive state are, are flawed. It is a very active medium. You know that part of McLuhanism. Um, it, it, it's a, of course, um, uh, it is a kind of um, sleep state. For the physical uh, yeah. body, for the chemical body. You get inklings of that when he calls the phonograph the toy that shrank the national chest, right? That's the beginning of affecting the physical body. So there's a great involvement on another level, and it's physical, discarnate, but you're talking about the effects on what I call the chemical body. I mean, that was McLuhan. He said it all the time. The TV is an active medium. The, the, uh, the passive receptive of the... Participatory, yeah. Yeah, very active participatory, but, it, but the, pass, the body looks passive. But the internal central nervous system of the viewer is very engaged to the point it is the screen.